Rachel is seven years old and she has a rare genetic disorder. She has quadriplegia and is also nonverbal. Paz has wheels has really impacted um, our family in, in a tremendous way. She comes out onto the court with all the parents cheering and calling each, each person's name and the joy on her face is, is really amazing to, to see. Usually everywhere we go, Rachel's the outsider, but coming to Wheels, she's the insider. She gets to be like all the other kids. Other people talk about their kids' little league or basketball games, and seeing Rachel on the court allows me to feel a bit of that. I get very excited at the big smile she constantly has on her face and the way that she loves being with the other kids and her buddy. She loves to watch people, to uh, interact with people in her, in her own way. I think she's getting it now that she's supposed to put that ball in that basket. <laughs> A lot of times people uh, will see her and be afraid to approach her or approach us. And, and this is a place where we are essentially all the same, where we have other parents who, who understand what life is like and the, the difficulties of life. I think that being able to be with and meet other parents who I may not know very well, but just sharing this bond of having a child in a wheelchair makes us connect very quickly. At Rachel's school, she has a classmate that is also in a wheelchair, and it gave me an opportunity to invite them to church, and they came this season and had a really fun time. People hear about it and they're, they're really surprised at wheelchair basketball. They don't, they have no idea what that entails and the volunteers and, and just the people who love the, all these kids. Having our family and friends come to the Wheels games has allowed them to get a glimpse of our world. For them to kind of get to see a little bit of that and also be able to come and cheer on Rachel and cheer on other kids. Some of the limitations of life, but at the same time, a chance to see the fun that they have. Our friends and family are very impressed that our church would offer something like this. And I think that they're touched, and we are touched by the motto that Paznas wants to love and serve a community of people that may never give back.